Hello and welcome to the OTB channel. This is just a, a very quick video to give you an update on uh, Endeavor OS. Last week I installed the system in a, a virtual machine and we had a quick look at it and I was relatively impressed. So I installed it on my hard drive or one of my hard drives and I've been using it for the last few days. So far so good. I thought I'd just give you a quick look at what I've done to the system and uh, how it looks now. And so you should see uh, on the screen now um, my rather customised version of uh, Endeavor OS. Uh, it's been pretty solid for me over the last couple of days. As you can see, I've done a fair bit of customising. Uh, I've put up a standard Arch Linux wallpaper that I found on Tinterweb. Um, and I'm running NeoFetch, which surprisingly doesn't actually identify it as Endeavor OS. It just uh, identifies it as an Arch Linux system. Um, I've applied the Flat Remix GTK Dark Blue theme to it, which I downloaded off uh, Gnome Look. I've installed the Papyrus icons, which are quite look like that flat look. And... Uh, I've also removed Endeavor's own package manager. Um, I've had a look in the Endeavor OS repository and there's not a huge amount there. All I currently have installed is the Endeavor keyring and uh, mirror list. Um, the Grub 2 theme, although I have actually uh, installed a custom Grub theme as well. And Yay and something called Yad which is a fork of Zenity. Not entirely sure what that is. However, it is what it is. The rest of the stuff is there, but um, I haven't bothered. Grub tools in XE, right? Kalu, Kalu was the um, update tool that was originally installed on Endeavor OS. I didn't like the notifications that were appearing all over my desk, so that was the one, one of the first things to go. I see they include an NVIDIA installer as well, if you have NVIDIA graphics, and something called Reflector Auto, which automates uh, the ranking of arch mirrors. Uh, I did that manually. I probably should have looked here first. Um, oh, yes, I've also installed the Brisk menu, which I like. Gives me the... Uh, ability to just search for the application that I want. So I've been running this now for two or three days. It's an Arch system. Not really a lot more to say about it. It's pretty solid. It's acting in exactly the way that I want. Yes, there's no Endeavor OS um, artwork on it anymore. Uh, I wasn't overly keen on that, to be honest, so that's not a bad thing as far as I'm concerned. But I'm going to continue to live in this. It's on one of the SSDs that I have in my little uh, USB SSD hub. It seems to be working fine. And I'll keep you updated. So this was just a really quick video to show you what I've uh, been doing with Endeavor OS since playing around with the virtual machine. My opinion hasn't changed. It's a very good system. If you want to try a bleeding edge uh, arch system, it's an option for you. It's plain arch essentially, apart from the installer. So all good so far, and I'll carry on living in this for, well, the next few weeks at least, and certainly the content I'm going to produce in a minute is going to be produced within my Endeavor system. So that's all for this uh, quick update and I'll see you later today. Thanks for watching.